While Austin's just over a month from its plastic bag ban deadline, other Central Texas communities are taking a different approach. KXAN's Natalie Stoll has more from Georgetown. All the bottles and cans dumped here get recycled, and now they'll be joined by plastic packaging, including grocery bags. It wasn't what other municipalities were doing so much as what is it that our, our customers and residents need. And they told us very clearly in that survey in May of 2011, we want to be able to recycle more items curbside. Georgetown's single stream recycling program started back in October. Users can pick up two of these special stuffer bags a month. They're stronger and won't disintegrate when put through a compressor, keeping all your plastic from clogging up the recycling machinery. Now this program is not just about recycling your plastic grocery sacks, but in each yellow bag you can also tuck other plastics like your plastic bread bags and even the plastic that's wrapped around your paper towels. It's very visible, it has that bright yellow, so when the assembly crew at the plant see that bag, they know number one, oh, it's from Georgetown. In Austin, you won't find these at your grocery store starting March 1st. That's the start of the city's bag ordinance. I use them for dirty diapers, and so now I'm like, oh no, what am I gonna do for my dirty diapers? But... Part of the push for the ban, these bags get caught in Austin's recycling machinery. A pilot program found it just wasn't feasible to recycle them. But for this shopper, making the switch isn't a big deal. I think it's great, actually. I mean, I think people have been getting used to bringing their own bags, but it's not, it hasn't been enforced. And further north, it's baby steps. It's educating and making things available to people and making it convenient. In Georgetown, Natalie Stoll, KXAN News.